When it comes to women entrepreneurship, we are at least facing two challenges. And this holds true not only for Ghana or Germany, but all over the world. We urgently need more women entrepreneurs. If you look at the statistics, there is still a huge deficit compared to male entrepreneurs. The second challenge is the stereotypes which come along with women entrepreneurship. The Staffrica project came up with the idea to make those impressive women entrepreneurs from Ghana more visible. How do we give women who are already innovative, who are already empowered, the access to be able to do what they are doing for people to actually see what they are doing? It goes beyond just making spaces, in my opinion. So I believe for a woman to, who are already innovating, who are already empowered, we should make sure that we are bringing them to the forefront by giving them access to the rooms and boardrooms of people who would actually listen and recognize the work that they do. When we talk about the new breed of female entrepreneurs, it connotes some level of evolution. So we need people to understand where it started, where we are, and then where it's, where it's headed. And um, it's important to know that over the years, uh, female entrepreneurship in Africa has been upheld by very persistent and resilient women who have trailblazed the way for us. Um, a classic example being the market force around the continent. The new breed of female entrepreneurs are go-getters. Um, these are builders and shapers of societies and economies with a voice worth listening to. We are obviously in the fourth industrial revolution and I see Africa being a pioneer in the digital revolution globally. For the most part, we Africans would be adopting these technologies from the European market. But then we are now shifting to a stage where Africa is going to be the innovator themselves. And then we export our IP to these European countries, America and all those places. Technology is a thing of today. The world has evolved. So has the introduction of more social problems. Technology is the only tool of change that makes it possible to be able to reach wider coverage of people with your social solutions. The involvement of technology in our world today alone is social impact. Social entrepreneurs are reshaping innovation through a number of uh, business models that contribute towards creating lasting solutions to the problems that we face in our society. It means a lot that um, gradually there's much attention being given to women in social entrepreneurship, women in pretty much deprived societies. Solving a problem motivates me to do more and I have a lot of people looking up to me as an inspiration, especially females who are inspired to be in the male-dominated industry. I believe as a woman, we bring on board a different touch when we find ourselves in that industry. I think it's very important to come in and also observe the environment as well and listen. There is a little bit of a divide between the so-called local and like the diaspora. So I think it's very important to come and be aware of these things as well. It would be good to understand that we're not just pretty faces waiting for things to happen to us or for us, but then um, we have the, the heart, we have the acumen, and then we have the skills to shape and impact uh, societies and economies. Looking into the future and moving forward, we would want the people out there to know that the new breed of female entrepreneurs in Africa are ready to make a change, contribute to the table, and all hands are needed on deck. It's a man's world, all right, uh, but in the words of James Brown, it's nothing without a woman or a girl. Now that we have your attention, 
We'd like you to know this is really about female entrepreneurs who are changing the narrative that has been far long established for women entrepreneurs from Africa. We want you to know these are women who are building actual solutions in various industries using technology and still maintaining the social impact aspect of their businesses and projects. We want these women to be seen for not just being women who are creating solutions in male-dominated industries. That narrative really sounds like a broken record. I we want these women to be seen for being true entrepreneurs. This is a call for not just visibility, but for actual support for their projects, for investors, for customers, they need the push.